take it out and put it back into that position. Yeah. Okay, this is clear. The flower towards you, I think. Does it record all the sound of the one track? Yeah. 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 This is an example of an 18th century Venetian glass, very finely decorated, very, very delicate, as one can see. And it illustrates two things about why Venice became a great glass making centre. One is related to the sea, and that is that. To move glass like this over long distances was very difficult. If you took them in a rickety cart over the Alps, it would break to pieces. But if you took it along the Mediterranean route and up the coasts by sea, you could get to anywhere in Europe and sell it at a profit. The other reason why being on the sea was important was that all the ingredients for a glass like this had to be shipped in. What Venice was, was a place where value was added to raw materials. They shipped in the sand, they shipped in all the ingredients and then worked on it, made this beautiful craftsmanship and then sent it all over Europe again. Uh, an example of a beautiful 18th century glass. One can see the fine workmanship and the delicacy and the clearness which made Venetian glass different from any glass in the world before. The crystal or cristallo effect which they invented in Venice in the 16th century which made it possible to make glass which was so fine that later on it would become essential for scientific instruments such as the telescope and the microscope. This delicate substance was made out of materials which came from all over the eastern Mediterranean, shipped into Venice, then made up into something like this and then exported by sea back through all of Europe and so Murano became the most famous glass-making centre the world has ever known and transported the glories of Roman glass to our world. Twist it again, please. Thank you. 